What's going on guys? Michael from GPRisers.com and today we are going to be building out another Octominer X12 Ultra. Now for today's build, um, I'm going to split this video into two. Um, I'm going to mainly be taking these out of the boxes, uh, setting this up, setting it in the frame and everything like that. And then in the next video, I will be doing a little bit of testing on the computer uh, so that you guys can see exactly what hash rates I'm getting and what I'm doing. For this Octominer rig build, we are using 12 of these RX 6700 XTs uh, by XFX. Now, I got a good deal on all 12 of these. Newegg had a sale. I believe these were right at $500 per card, which is much, much better um, than we've been seeing. They might have been $599. I'm not 100% sure, but whatever it was, it was much better, and I had to jump on it right away. Now, I did have these sitting in a box right over here for the longest time. Uh, we did run out of power here. Uh, we do have some more outlets ready to go, and we also have PDUs. We just need the electrician to come and install it all. But I am going to be building out a you know, a insulated box type thing for these Octaminers. I was actually thinking of um, doing, I know this is a bunch of boxes, I'm gonna get tons of dislikes and hate for this, but I like to have a box wall. Uh, but behind this is another room behind the bunker, which I can exhaust air straight out the back. So I'm actually thinking of putting the Octaminer setup right here and just cutting a hole into the back room there. And then from that hole, I'll be able to exhaust it out the back. But it will be pulling a lot of the cold air through and straight out back, so I'm not sure how that will affect the AC. I do have the HVAC com guy coming as well. So we'll figure that out when the time comes. You fix, you know, disasters as they come. But that said, guys, let me go ahead and get the Octominer case um, off the top here. I will get a couple of these out so that you guys can see it. Um, I'll probably take this one out first, uh, just show you guys the card and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got one of them out. I went ahead and took off all the plastic. I know there's been some controversy uh, with XFX selling refurbished cards as new, so I will be keeping an eye out for that, but I am very happy with these cards because of the slim uh, profile here. These Octominer X12s are great cases, but the cards that you have in them need to be pretty thin. Um, I found that out with the 3090s. Um, the Zotac 3090s were pretty much touching each other, um, and those are a little bit thicker than this, so I'm very excited. I think this will be great for the X12, and those thicker cards I am going to be saving for the X8s whenever I get those in, but I think that these cards will be, uh, like I said, just great for this X12 case. Now, these cards are fairly efficient. The wattage is pretty low. I will go over all of the numbers in the next video. Well, let me go ahead and get these out. It will take a little bit of time to get the 12 out, but let me get to it and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. I took them all out. We got 12 of them here, all ready to go. Got the plastic and the, the shroud wraps off and everything like that. So what we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop open this Octominer right here. And there's gonna be a couple cables in it. I'll show you guys what they are. And then we're gonna go ahead and start lining these up in there and getting this ready to go. Before I do that, I have to remember, I gotta get Miner Stat installed on the SSD here. So there we go. We will go ahead and put that over there so I don't forget. And let me go ahead and get these screws out right here on the Octominer and get this lid open. All right, guys, so I got the Octominer open, put the lid over there. And as you can see, we have the 12 card riserless motherboard right here. Now, if you saw the other video on the 3090, you saw me kind of stagger them. Um, that's because the cards needed space between them. You know, each 3090 is consuming, you know, about 300 watts, whereas these cards are only going to be consuming about 100 120 watts. So having the spacing here should be just fine with these cards. Uh, the lower power draw on top of having, you know, a, a space in between it. And as I showed you guys earlier in the video, these are relatively slim cards. So I am very optimistic about this. Final last words, of course. Now inside the Octominer case, it does come with a cable adapter to plug in the three server power supplies that you have right here. Now here's a little bit better angle of that. You can see right there, there's three plugs for each power supply. Each one of these are 1200 watts, totaling 3600 watts that are available. Of course, applying an 80% rule to that is a little bit less, but this does allow it so that you can use one cable. And I was testing that um, with the other Octominer that we built, which is right over here. Um, this has eight 3090s in it, 
and the cable stayed very cool. Didn't have any issues using a cable like this to be able to plug it straight into our PDU right there. So I have no worries about uh, this adapter right here. I think it's going to work just fine. And of course we have um, the cables right here uh, to plug into here. There's 12 six pins right there that plug into this long rope of cables right here that easily stretch and fit um, all the way to the very end. And then we have a support bar that we are going to be using. It kind of just lays right on top here, pushes the cards down. So when you're moving the case around, things aren't shuffling or anything like that. So this is a nice addition here. So that said, I am gonna go ahead and get this all hooked up right here. I think you could slide it through there, make it look all nice. And then I'll start loading up the cards. So let me go ahead and get everything uh, installed, ready to go, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back and we have all 12 of the 6700 XTs in the Octominer case. Now we have them all plugged in as well, ready to go. I am gonna go ahead and secure this bar right in here, um, right above here. And it's nice when they're all the same card, so they're the same height. I'm not sure how the bar would work if it wasn't like that. And you can kind of wiggle it around. Octominer does give you um, some space right here um, to be able to move this bar so that you're not covering any radiator fans or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the best thing for that. And when I do the testing for this, I am gonna go ahead and leave it open and then I'll shut the case uh, when it's ready to mine full time. But that said guys, that's gonna be everything for this video. In the next video, I'll show this thing booting up and we'll jump right into the hash rates and setting this up on a minor stat. Now it is a little tricky with AMD cards. I'm hoping not to have that big of an issue uh, like I've been having with some 6600 XTs, but I am hopeful for this. Um, I am probably gonna be doing a modest overclock on this. I am looking for stability when it comes to a server case like this. I don't wanna be popping this thing open, messing around with it. And that is what's very different about server cases like Octominers and open airframe cases like we have, these are fairly easy uh, to work around, to take a card off, isolate, whereas these Octominers, you do have to take it all apart and um, isolate it like that. But again, guys, these Octominer cases are fantastic. I love this company. All of their products and all of their server cases are very high quality. But that said, guys, that's gonna be everything for this video. I look forward to seeing you guys in part two and we'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.